Welcome back. Now that you have some PDFs in your Mendeley virtual file cabinet, I guess that's what we'll call it, let's look at some of the things that you can do with your articles. So you can cross file them if there are um, articles that fall into multiple categories. So that's really quite a simple drop and drag. If you can you take the article, highlight it, drag it on over. I mean, this is now I'm taking it back into the same folder. But that's one example of a way that you can keep track of things. You can um, look at articles that did not have all their metadata drawn in. Um, why do you need metadata? Because it's going to help you find things. Think about it this way. There's always that one article you cite in your introduction. Usually it's some kind of big survey or big important person with an opinion. So you want to make sure that you've got everything properly categorized so that you can find those articles. So if you clicked on needs review, these would be articles that I imported that information is somehow missing. So a for example is, uh, all right, well, let's uh, move away from aromatherapy and let's go to Pilates and dancers and posture, let's say. So if I click on this, I can simply say details are correct, but I can already see that there um, is information missing. One thing that I can look for is I can see if somewhere in the giant Mendeley catalog somebody else has uploaded this article and if they've already brought the information in, otherwise I can manually load it. So if I double click on this, this is going to give me a sideways something blah 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 to a research article. So. Um, I can just look at this and copy the author's names in here, the date, all the other uh, components of the citation so that I have everything in the, um, in the reference itself. So um, that is definitely essential to do for everything. Um, and then you've got your, cab your, your file cabinet all together. I'm going to click out of this and this is just a little side note because I do this all the time. If you want to exit the article and go back to your library, don't click up here in the right hand corner that closes Mendeley. Come over here, click here to close. So um, as you're filling in these fields, um, one of the reasons you might also want to do it is you can use Mendeley as a citation manager in your bibliography, in your paper. If you download the um, the the uh, way to link it into Microsoft Word, so if you're going to do that, make sure that you um, uh, download that um, when you download Mendeley and have all of the citations handled here. But let's go ahead and let's come back to I don't know the aromatherapy articles and let's look at what you can do with the PDFs themselves. So I'm going to double click on aromatherapy facts and fictions. Now let's look at something recent. Um, how about Aromatherapy and massage for symptoms and cancer symptoms. Okay, this is a systematic review. So here we are in our article and I can look at my screen and read the article and highlight and do all kinds of wonderful things. So I'm going to scroll down here and just show you real simple how you highlight. Um, you can add notes as well. So what I um, always look for when I read a research paper, if you've seen my other videos, is I look for the aim or the purpose statement. That's where I always start. Look at the title, come to the purpose. The purpose of the systematic review is to attempt to answer the question, does massage or aromatherapy massage decrease, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and come up to the top of my screen and click on highlight. And I can highlight the text. I can give a highlight to rectangle or highlight the text. I'm going to say highlight text. And I'm going to come over here and say, here's my purpose statement. Does it do all of these things, um, short and long term? And I can release that. And then I have that highlight. Once I sync the articles, this highlight will carry through to every, uh, every other place that this article shows up in my Mendeley library. So it's a super handy tool. So I can come through here, continue my search and extracting information for my systematic review. So that's really probably one of the handiest features here. You can do that with Adobe um, software on your computer as well, but the ability to, to organize your, your uh, virtual file cabinet here with Mendeley is just fantastic. Um, so I can change the uh, colors of the highlights. So if I find other information or let's say I'm collaborating with somebody and sharing uh, my library across different platforms and maybe I'm going to always highlight in yellow and that other person will always highlight in blue. And um, that way we can extract information that we think is essential. So you also can add notes. Um, and so if I want to add a note here, whoops, I can, oh, that's how I delete my highlighting. Let me escape out of that. Um, let me come back over here and click on note and I can tag a note here 
that says, I think this is important. Or maybe this is a good review. And then I have my note. So I've got my note in there as well. And you can see where you have little sticky notes. So notes and highlights happen everywhere. If I close out of this, then that's going to, again, sync to different platforms. So just a little word about syncing your references. Once you've organized your reference on your desktop version of Mendeley, if you want to take it to your tablet or to another desktop, all you need to do is come up here, making sure you're logged in, and sync your library with Mendeley Web. And then you will have your library here. You can look at it online or you can look at it in other documents. And so if you've um, made edits on different platforms and forgotten to sync, it really does work very well to reconcile everything. And then as I mentioned before, once I'm finished with a project or if I just get too many references uh, that I just need to clean things out, I can delete references or, you know, in some cases just wipe out my whole library and start over if I'm not working on a particular topic. So um, happy highlighting, happy updating your metadata and getting yourself organized.